CentOS, Fedora, Hiren's Boot CD, Windows 11, Windows 10, all the way back to Windows XP, MS-DOS, Ubuntu, every version of Linux, Kali Linux, everything you would possibly want on one that's right. One USB stick. No more fumbling USB sticks and trying to figure out where my Windows 11 USB stick and where my Steam Deck reset st uh, USB stick is. Now we can do all of the ISOs you want on a single USB and then just boot into the one you need. So for example, if I want to install Windows 11, I just go to Windows 11 and hit enter. Boot in normal mode and it is installing Windows 11. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that and so much more. That's right, today we're making a super USB stick. So I'm gonna show you how I used uh, Ventoy to actually set that up. So the first thing we wanna do is head over to ventoy.net and go to downloads. On the download site, you can go to the Windows download. You can also go directly to the GitHub and download from there. But I'm gonna go ahead and download from SourceForge here. Once you've downloaded that, you can go ahead and open up the folder and place that somewhere like on your desktop or um, in the downloads folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Ventoy and we're gonna look for Ventoy to disk. So we're gonna open up Ventoy to disk, give it a few seconds to open up and here it is. We can see that I have my 128 gigabyte flash disk here and it is currently using 1.0.99. If I choose update, it will actually, um, without changing any of the ISOs on the disk, it'll actually update the version, so that's really useful. Um, but since this one's already installed and updated, I'm gonna actually install it on a new drive. So I'm gonna choose this two gigabyte drive here, which doesn't have Ventoy, and I'm gonna choose install. It says the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost, continue. And we'll choose yes. The device will be formatted, double checking that we can continue, we'll choose yes and it is deleting everything on the device and installing Ventoy. This will take some time. All right, so that has finished installing and it opened up a folder where we can place our ISOs. All you gotta do is drag an ISO in there. For example, here is um, my current 120 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte USB stick. It has about 90 gigs worth of ISOs, including Hiren's Boot CD, Kali Linux, Manjaro, Windows 11, Windows 10, even the ARM64 version of Windows and the Steam Deck repair image because I use those often. So I can literally just plug this into any device and um, boot into the ISO I need. All you gotta do is copy it to this folder and then the next time you use it to boot, it's gonna scan the folder, find all the ISOs, and then give you a list of which one you'd like to start with. Super useful tool. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah.